with no rushing over all right here we go a one a two in the middle of a forest grew a pine tree he had lots of branches and the branches joined his trunk there was a little brown spot the pine tree said my name is nutty pine nothing for sure i call my spots beauty marks i want to be paneling in someone's exclusive home one day along came two men in the jeep their arrival caused a lot of excitement what were the men going to do the men took out a big saw and they started to saw nutty down who could he could he now i'm going to become the nutty pine paneling i always wanted to be we nutty pines appear in only the very best houses don't you know after the men had sawed Nutty, they used an axe to topple him. Later, a man with a tractor towed Nutty away. Bye-bye. <laughs> and away they went to a railroad, which took Nutty along with a lot of other trees on a flat car. Went the little train engine. And off went the train through the woods to the side of a great big river. Somebody pulled the lever and down went all the logs into the river. And floated down the river until they came to a sawmill. And there they were hauled up into the sawmill where men saw the logs into balls. Naughty laughed. <laughs> After they had finished with Naughty, he was a nice big board with nice smooth edges. And a nice big beauty mark on him, of which he was very proud. And then Naughty was put on a big flat car with a whole lot of other boards. Who's there? Who's there? I want to be the Nutty Pine paneling in the custom built home. When they got to the lumber yard, most of the boards were piled in a big pile, but Lottie found himself in front of a stack of boards, leaning against the side of a shed. Aha! They didn't put me with all those ordinary boards. I'm special. And the very thought made him feel so snooty that he started to turn his nose up and... There goes my beauty spot. Heavens, what will become of me now? And there was Dottie with a great big hole where his beauty spot had been. <laughs> One of the lumberyard men shouted to another, Hey, just got a new train on lumberyard. What sort of wood is it? Mighty pie, most of it's good. It's not bad. <laughs> uh -huh, I thought so. All the very best lumber, like me, is up against the wall. <laughs> In came a little boy pulling a wagon. Mister, may I have a board? Sure, son, over there, leaning up against the wall. And as Naughty watched, the little boy came over and picked him up and put him on his little wagon. Oh, no, 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 you must be in the wrong place. Oh, I shall never live it down. What shall become of me? And there was Naughty stretched across the little boy's wagon. The next thing he knew, Naughty was in the little boy's father's workshop. And what was the father doing? Was he sawing? Yes, he was. Was he hammering? Yes, indeed. And before you could say not all, the little boy's father had covered Lottie with paint and put him in the branches of a pine tree. Good heavens, I'm back where I started. But what am I sitting in a pine tree for? What on earth am I here for? Just then along came two little birds and settled on the sticks of the birdhouse. And they went inside. And when they came out, one said to the other, Harriet, 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 did you notice, my dear? Naughty pine paddling. All over. And that's the story of Naughty Pine, the pine tree. Well, I guess Zippy will be here pretty soon. Our friend is just sitting here waiting for Zippy to come. Would you 